up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy again, y'all both. AKA Django 3K. DB Crappy Fishing and Outdoors. Hey man, uh, this is the first of a series of maintenance videos that I got coming up the pipeline uh, in this video. Guys, if you're interested or you need know-how on how to properly maintain your pond, watch this video. Uh, I'm gonna drop some nuggets on this one. With that being said, hanging out, be right back with you guys. And as time passes by, I see you not satisfied. Oh, I feel you for my brother. Feel you for my brother. Hey, hey, hey. How you doing? Man. When I came down here, I thought I was going to see a little farm, man. Ain't no going to be like this. <laughs> wow. Yeah, he sent me down here to get some cart from you. Some is over 12, man. You don't want to beat them up. Okay. Now look here, these these fish don't reproduce. No. Okay. Uh, and you had to you had to replace them how long? Uh about four years, three to four years, you don't want to start fighting about half some more food. Okay, three to four years. Yeah, these things as big as they are. We're gonna put five to a bag. You see how active they are? Mm -hmm. They will. Uh, they will beat each other. Oh. Did not know y'all had this kind of operation down here, man. We. we you know, I know you thinking farm pond. I thought you just had like a couple of ponds. You just dip your net we, in or something. We got eighty ponds and right at three hundred acres of water. Wow. We do eighteen, twenty million fish a year. <laughs> what we keep alive. And we kill more than that. But. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to rebuild my pond, man, and I got to get some grass out of it first. That's the first step to getting it back in good shape. Yeah. Okay, it'll be all right. You, uh, you want to haul these in the back seat or in the back back? Which, which one? Back seat better? No, I mean, 
if you're going to haul them in the back, we're going to put them in some other bags just in case the sun come out on them going back. Okay, then. Put them, we'll put them on the back. The, you don't want the sun to draw in there. And okay. Yeah, I'm going straight to the pond with it. Yeah, keep them in there when you get home. Yeah, it'll boil. It'll make soup. <laughs> it's pretty good today, though. But, and I have to say, that'll be three gallons for $50 soup. You won't find it that cheap or rough. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, the thing about it is you really don't have any place to go, Ryan. You know, cause I'm like, where do you buy them here? You know, y'all the only place that had this, all the fish that I need. You know well, what I mean? There's only four hatcheries now in the United States that hatch these in here. So there's three in Arkansas and another. But we supply fish to we got 50, 60 dealers. Right. Got two other farms. Three other farms. That we supply baby draft up to. And then some of them the one in Alabama hatch of bass. We swap draft off the bass. That way each one of us can come do our own thing, but we can help each other out. So I mean like the old thing don't breathe, so y'all, how y'all make them, man, you know? We're allowed to have about a hundred that are not sterile. That right. Are what's considered diploids, they've got two sets of chromosomes. Right. When we spawn these, we use pressure on the fertilized eggs to make them have three sets of chromosomes instead of two. And therefore, that makes them sterile. Wow. But then we have to go back and do an individual blood test on them to certify that they're sterile before we sell them. Wow. So it's a, a reason they ain't for a few of us. Yeah. I see now, man. <laughs> Breeders. Yeah. Genetic engineers. Yeah, right man. Right in a pole barn and all this little stuff. I'm talking about show sure enough. <laughs> Okay, here's the situation. I don't know if you guys can see what's going on. Uh, if you're looking at the water right now, water's crystal clear, looking beautiful. But I have an overabundance of grass growing in this thing, man. And uh, before I can manage this thing into the pond that I want it to be, Got to clean it out, man. So, uh, there's two alternatives, man. One would be, uh, put some dye in it, man, which I really didn't want to do because I want to use this as hunting ground, too. If you guys can see all the primo land around, around this pond, it's, it's, it's bringing in a lot of animals, man, that, that want to come here and drink. But, I want to, I didn't want to put um, dye in it for that, for that reason, but it was a consideration. So I just took the more expensive route and just went and got what you call some grass carp, man. And um, about a two acre, about a two, two and a half acre pond, lake, what you want to call it. So they recommend, you know, at least 15 per acre. So I started out with 15 carp. 
uh, with the assumption that I was going to come back the following week and get 15 more. Uh, reason being, they recommend uh, 15 carp per acre to alleviate all this vegetation that's in the bottom of this thing. And I asked them, you know, approximately how long would it take for them to make a dent in this thing? He said, hey, 30, 30 carp about three to six months you should see a significant uh decrease in vegetation and overall uh condition of the lake and i said word up so what i'm getting ready to do now is uh go over here and uh not release them but acclimate them to the water which is you know i'm just gonna sit the bags off in the water and let them uh acclimate to the temperature of this water and then release them afterward i'm gonna give them about 30 minutes they recommend 10 minutes to acclimate them but i'm gonna give them 30 minutes uh 30 minutes to acc uh, acc acclimate themselves and then i'm just go ahead and release them and hopefully them jokers are happy hunters man go out here and um have a great time and you know what man i came all the way out here and didn't bring a rod man and i see bass swimming by Damn it, man. Man, oh man, oh man. So, y'all stay with me, man. Get ready to release these jokers. That's what we have right here, man. Uh, 15 Asian carp, man. Uh, Non-breeders. So, basically the ones here are 10 to 12 inches and they're sterile. So, won't be having babies, but they will have to be replaced after all. They say they recommend every four years replenish them by putting at least five more in there so that's what we're doing man we're gonna take them and acclimate them to the water right quick basically all i'm doing put them on the water's edge let them get that temperature catch up with the temperature of the water i'm gonna sit back here Wait on these jokers to get right. We're going to release them. How about that? Y'all stay there with me, man. You know, hopefully, I'm going to give them about 30 minutes. And I'll, I'll let them go. Y'all hang in there with me. <laughs> All right, YouTube. We're going to release these cup. Let y'all see what the one of them look like first. Look at this guy here. Come on, man. What's it on out there? They don't know what to do. Gonna have to do something. They don't want to move. Look at them. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Get your ass on. <laughs> you can't <joke. laughs> <laughs> They did that. I don't know. The water might be colder than that water. There it go. Kicking now. No, it's not like that. It's uh, just a bunch of... He got like 300 ponds out there. 300? Yeah, 300. He said 300 acres of ponds. And they got like different fish in them, you know? Hey, 
Hey, go get out there and be somebody. You think they got enough water to move on? Huh? Yeah. Oh, that one's struggling right there. He's struggling. Yeah. Get out there and be somebody. Oh, that's what they, that's all they needed was a push, huh? Daddy done pushed them out there real, real. Look at them. Get out there and eat. Let me see if y'all gonna eat. Are we free? That one looks like he's gonna be okay. Well. That one right over there. I might be talking about the same one. You know how they all look alike. Look at these guys. They ain't went nowhere. Where do you get them? They hide. Man, get out there and do something. Get out there, man. Just get up, man. That's just too cute. Get out there. Look at that one on the gray right now. Might be he. What'd you read? It's got a spider on it. A spider there. Mm-hmm. Water spider? I don't know, but... I didn't think water spider be in water. He's walking on top of it then. Mm-hmm. Those guys ain't going nowhere. The there you go. Mm -hmm. You ain't they made for life? No, they they eat. Yo, they eat. Yeah, already. What's that? Mm. Yeah, they're trying to make me call that right. That one, that laying on the side. That one, that laying on the side. I wonder the water too cold, huh? They, they took out. Y'all hey, get out there and do something. Got one laying on his side. A lot of my brothers are dead or gone. But they've been hanging on the block a little too long. What can I say? I hope they live to see a brighter day. And the ones that are doing there fine. Go. God bless you because you're doing fine. At the end of the day, don't forget about me. Dang, man. I see you not satisfied.